Uh, all right. Got Andrew Gantz here. Andrew, uh, you're not playing now. How, how difficult is that? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty difficult thing to do after starting for two seasons there and being a pretty integral part of the team. It's kind of hard to sit there and kind of watch things go by. You know, I want to be out there with the guys. We'll be out there helping them every week. But, you know, I'm doing as much as I can right now. I'm out there at practice trying to help Josh, you know, get prepared to play on Saturdays and help the, help lead the other guys, too. we got a lot of young guys on the team. we got a lot of guys in our position group that tend to look up to me as leaders. So I'm just trying to be out there as much as I can to help those guys succeed on Saturdays as well. You came back for Purdue. Uh, that went, went all right. And then, then what happened? Yeah, you know, I, I came back probably earlier than was expected with my injury that I had. Uh, I knew we needed me to play. You know, the Purdue game was a pretty big game. We haven't beat a Big Ten team in 50-something years on the road. So, I, of course, I want to get back and play that one. Uh, I came back and played. I, I wasn't at uh, probably near 70%, but I wanted to get out there and play with my, my little brothers. And uh, had a pretty good game. Didn't feel great, but uh, came back against Houston the next week, played again. Hadn't really felt great the whole entire time I was playing. And then we go out there and, you know, rest me for the Miami game. And, Pre-game warm-ups for South Florida, I tore my quad again, so it's kind of kind of a tough situation. It's a tough injury to come back from, especially as early as I did. I came back in like three and a half weeks, but um, you know, I just wanted to get out there and play and help out as much as I could. I'm sure it's tough at the end of games where, uh, for instance, this week it's East Carolina, and last last year you, you beat them. Yeah. Uh, you know, so at the end of the game, party wants to run out there, but you know uh, you can. Yeah, I was telling people the other day watching the UConn game on TV. I was getting butterflies out there watching Josh go out there and kick. So I want to be out there as much as I can, but. Uh, I can't be out there, so I got to find another role to play and be a leader on this team and try to help out as much as I can. So that's all I'm trying to do is just prepare these guys, help prepare these guys mentally for the games, physically, and get them out there and prepare to go and knock down a game winner if we need it again this year. Now, what's your prognosis on when and how and all that stuff? Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that up to the, the guys in charge over there. I, I really don't know to tell you. It's uh, it's kind of a, a situation where they want to rest me, just give me back 100% and be ready to go. So. I mean, obviously, we're going to take the rest of the season off and try to hopefully get this year back. So I'll have two more seasons to come back here and play. Yeah. But um, you ever had a hamstring type thing before? Or, uh? No, I have not. It's, my, it's actually my quad. Quad, so, okay. So, yeah, yeah, it's pretty much the muscle I use every time I kick. So it's just one of those things to where they're going to just shut me down from kicking, just let me rehab and build everything up, get it stronger again, and then come back stronger next year. So if I can come back a little bit stronger than I was this year, I'm going to be in pretty good shape. So I'm pretty excited for it. I'm going to move back, and you're wearing a Cowboys jersey. So you have to explain that now. Oh, gosh. Oh, I grew up a Cowboys fan. My dad's always liked the Cowboys back when they were winning Super Bowl after Super Bowl. So, just got to go with the family and support the boys. Well, they look pretty dominating so far from yeah. what I saw. The, you know, Ezekiel Elliott can run the ball. And Prescott's oh, pretty gosh. good. I don't know I don't know how you put him on they the bench. they got a QB so. controversy now, too. So, be nice yeah. to see what happens when Romo's ready to play. All right. Andrew Gantz, big Cowboy fan. He'll be back at some point. Booting him long. <laughs>